big, all it takes is one wrong step and you'll be toppling over yourself. So definitely focus and technique. In a zone scheme? Yes, yeah, okay. Um, I mean, if you stay on your track, you'll, you'll bump into who you're supposed to. That's the best way to put it. If you're running a zone left and you stay on your right track and your right technique, your man is going to end up popping right into you. I'm at 350. It served me well, but I, I took off from the bowl season to spend time with my family. Um, I w I'm from New York. My family stayed in New York when I went to Georgia. And um, I spent probably a total of eight days with them in a three-year period. So uh, I just wanted to get home, spend a little bit of time with my mom and my dad and my brother. And um, before I embarked on this journey where I wouldn't be able to see them often. So that, that's part of why I left early and for gold to bowl. And then I just started training right after, right after we played. Actually, I left the day after we played. I wanted to watch that on TV with my family and see, see my guys play. Yeah, so you support your teammates on social media pretty heavily. Did you have a chance to stop back through Athens and see some of them after that win? Um, I haven't yet because I went directly to training, so I, I haven't been back to Athens to see him, but best believe that visit is in, it's in order. I'm, I'm going to be there. I was going to ask, what was your assessment of the fill-in guys? They were missing, what, I guess, three line, and uh, what did you think about the guys that stepped up in your absence? Uh, those aren't fill-in guys. They're talented. They're starters everywhere else, I guarantee it. So they're not fill-in guys in my eyes. Those guys are some ballers. Um, I had fun watching them. They definitely made me proud, for sure. Can you can you repeat that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I love, but Big Win is like my older brother. I, I love Win, no cap. Um, I, I love the way he is. He's a genuine guy. He gives me pointers on certain things. Um, he helped me like weeding out agents and whatnot. Um, he he's a great person to be honest with you. Um, no, I haven't. Um, I would be grateful to, to block anywhere in the NFL, but uh, it would be fun blocking for Nick Chubb, actually. <laughs> um, at Georgia, I, I redshirted his last year there, so I didn't necessarily block for him, but I saw him, and I saw his work ethic, and it, it, it was a lot of fun being around a guy like that. So to block for him, I, I could only assume it was 10 times better than actually watching him. So <laughs> it would be fun. Toughest pass rusher I faced this year? Hmm. That's tough. Um, Caleb on chasing probably, um, and not necessarily only because of the speed, but he he's very he's quick in his uh, his motions. It's not necessarily speed up the field as much as he's very quick twitch and just a a rangy guy. And there's a lot of things in that system that put you in really tough positions. But he was definitely a, a hell of a player to block. Um, it's fun. I mean, we travel as a group this year, so we do catch each other in passing. I mean, and it's just all love. I mean, I played with these guys for three years, so it's a lot of fun seeing them out here, and we're all chasing the same dream, and it's, it's fun to watch. We talked to Jake yesterday. He said it was such a hard decision to leave Georgia. Was it, it doesn't seem like it should have been that hard for you. Was it that hard to decide to leave? No, it was for sure hard. I mean, I, I created a family there in my, um, in my own life. Um, my teammates there are brothers to me, they're not just teammates. And it was tough to decide if I was going to forego my last year and leave my, the team I, I found behind and the team I wanted to be with behind and make this decision. So it was definitely tough for me. So what was the reason that you decided to um, I decided that I, I was just ready to go to work and to start trying to attack the next level of my life. Nobody. I'm unique. <laughs> I study Trent Brown a lot because um, I want to liken my punch to his. He has a vicious punch. Tyron Smith, um, 
prototypical left like left tackle, monster out there, fast, athletic, strong. I watched Joe Thomas when I was younger growing up, trying to emulate the athletic kicks that he had, because uh, that's special. I don't know how he does it. I'm going to have to ask him if I ever meet him, but uh, <laughs> it's special to watch. Um, Ronnie Staley's fun to watch. Orlando Brown's fun to watch. Big maulers, big athletic guys. Those are definitely people I look at often. Um, I was I was faring well against first round talent and touted draft picks and people that I know have years on me, and um, that's when I decided that um, I think I'm good enough. I, I think this is the right decision for me. Um, favorite memory would have to be Kentucky, uh, Kentucky 2018. And we hit about a 70-yarder, 80-yarder, and it pretty much sealed the SEC championship run for us. And it felt like all our hard work had, uh, had finally paid off again. Um, in 2017, everyone thought it was just because we were a bunch of seniors and we had a bunch of old talent on the team. And in 2018, we woke everybody up again and said, we're still here to fight. So that was definitely one of my, my, favorite, my favorite memories of Georgia. Jamari Sawyer, Trey Hill, Warren Erickson, Xavier Trust, the whole O-line. <laughs> um, definitely. And if you're sleeping on them, they're going to wake you up. And I can't wait to watch them wake you up. <laughs> Yeah. Because um, it's, it's fun. Um, it takes 30 seconds, 45 seconds to make a cameo when you just made somebody's whole entire day. So <laughs> that's pretty special to me. I mean, I, like as a kid, I remember getting gloves from older players or something at like the high school or 